Hello, I am Dr. Segishan Sainalum, a third year resident from the Department of Radio Diagnosis of Neil Ratan Sarkar Medical College, Kolkata, West Bengal. And I am going to present a topic on role of CT scan of paranasal ear sinuses for diagnostic evaluation of sinusal pathology in a tertiary care hospital in Eastern India. And my co-authors are Dr. Shantandar, Dr. Mohamad Sajid, and Professor Dr. Shodhapri Obasu. An introduction, a wide spectrum of diseases and conditions involve the nasal passage and paranasal sinuses, which can be collectively termed as sinusal diseases. This includes conditions ranging from inflammations, neoplasms, both benign and malignant infections. Their clinical assessment is hampered by bony structures. And for that reason, radiological investigations are of paramount importance. CT has become the investigation of choice for radiological diagnosis of nasal and sinusal diseases as CT of paranasal sinuses clearly show air opacified areas like sinuses and details of bony anatomy. CT allows evaluation of the patency of sinusal passages, diseases, or both. CT can show anatomy which are not visualized by physical examinations or even in diagnostic nasal endoscopy. Hence, CT PNS is the study of choice for the surgeons before considering functional endoscopy sinus surgery. CT scan plays an important role in excluding presence of aggressive infections, malignancies, bony destructions, and local invasions. CT is the investigation of choice for preoperative evaluation of the nasal cavity and paranasal sinuses, and is the gold standard for inflammatory sinus diseases resulting from obstruction. Corner CT images closely correlates with the surgical approach as CT helps in the diagnosis of anatomical variations, which if unknown can cause intraoperative and postoperative phase complications. Hence, CT is the preferred study of choice for functional endoscopic sinus surgery. Then for materials and methods, the study area is radio diagnosis department of Nirdhatan Sarkar Medical College. The study population is 40. Inclusion criteria, in, in criteria includes patient referred to radio diagnosis department for CT scan of PNS for any complaints, patients above the age of 10 years, and patients who have undergone endoscopic sinus surgery, their relevant histopathological and surgical reports are included. Exclusion criteria includes patients with previous history of sinus surgery, patients with any traumatic conditions involving PNS were excluded from the surgery. Statistical analysis. For statistical analysis, data were entered into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and then analyzed by SPSS version 27.0, SPSS Incorporation, Chicago to USA, and GraphPad Prism version 5. Data had been summarized as mean and standard deviation from numerical variables and count and percentage for categorical variables. Unpaired proportions were compared by chi square test and Fisher exact test as appropriate. Result and analysis. In our study, 39, which is approximately 97.5% of patients had fiber optic endoscopic sinus surgery, and one, which is 2.5% of the patients had surgery and the biopsy specimens were taken and sent for histopathological evaluation. The clinical examinations, CT findings, and histopathological diagnosis were recorded for correlation and data analysis. Findings were analyzed, tabulated, and results were obtained. A total number of 40 patients who fulfilled the criteria were included in the study. In our study, eight, which is 20% patients were between 11 to 20 years of age. Six patients, that is 15% of patients were 21 to 30 years of age. 10 patients were 31 to 40 years of age. And nine, which is 22.5% patients were 41 to 50 years of age. And seven, which is 17.5% patients were above 50 years of age. The oldest patient was 65 years old and the youngest patient was 12 years old. There was a male predominance as 23 uh, patients were male compared to 17 patients were female. The male to female ratio was 1.35 is to 1. And the age group distribution which was discussed before is uh, given as a table form where we can clearly see that in the age group of 31 to 40, there was maximum number of patients, which is 10, and 25% uh, of patients were between 31 to 40 years of age. Now, for the result analysis, in our study, one patient had nose bleeding and one patient had chronic nasal discharge, 19 patients had headache, 
five patients has headache with nasal obstruction, one patient had nasal discharge, and 13 patients had nasal obstruction. So approximately 47.5% of patients, which is the maximum, had headache. Patients were categorized accordingly to etiology as developmental, inflammatory, neoplastic, and the maximum number of patients were in inflammatory category, which is 32 in number and 80%. In CT findings, 12 patients had agar nasi, and three patients had concavulosa, one patient had concavulosa and agar nasi, seven patients had aviated nasal septum. <clears throat> So, and one patient uh, among the deviated nasal septum, uh, one patient had deviated nasal septum to us left and agonizer anatomical, as, 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 as anatomical variations. 11 patients had DNS towards right and five patients had DNS towards right along with agonizer. In our study, the most common inflammatory pathology was sinusitis. 62.5% of patients uh, had the sinusitis followed by sinusal polyp. 30% patient. In CT findings, five patients had anterior ethmoidal sinus, two patients had anterior ethmoidal sinus and posterior ethmoidal sinus, and three patients had frontal sinus, one patient had frontal and anterior ethmoidal sinus, one patient had frontal sinus only, frontal sinus, uh, anterior ethmoidal sinus, and posterior ethmoidal sinus, sphenoid sinus involvement, one patient had frontal and anterior ethmoidal sinus, 21 patient had maxillary sinus, and six patients had maxillary sinus with anterior ethmoidal sinus involved. In CT findings, we found that three patients had fungal sinusitis, one patient had juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma, 11 patients had poly, 25 patients, which is, uh, patients had inflammatory sinusitis, and 39 patients had ne negative extra sinus, and one patient had positive extra sinus involvement in CT findings. Associated of chim component versus histopathological findings was statistically significant, p value of 0.0257. Chronic sinusitis has 100% sensitivity, 94% sensitivity, 96% positive predictive value, 100% negative predictive value in diagnosis. For fungal sinusitis, the sensitivity was with low 66%, but specificity was high 97.4%. Positive predictive value and negative predictive value was accordingly. Polyp have sensitivity of 90.9%, specificity of 94%, positive predictive value of 90%, and negative predictive value of 100%. And benign neoplasm like Zimmer and nasopharyngeal angiopathy have sensitivity, specificity, positive, predictive value, negative, predictive value of 100%. The distribution of chip complaint are given as a table. And in here, here you can see that headache has the highest uh, frequency as a complaint, uh, which comprises of 47.5% of the total complaints. The distribution of type of sinus pathology includes developmental, inflammatory, and neoplastic, in which inflammatory has 32% uh 32 uh, numbers uh, of involvement which in, uh, which comprise of 80 percent of the total cases distribution of specific city diagnosis includes fun, uh, fungal sinusitis uh, juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma poly sinusitis and among them sinusitis at 62.5 percent of involvement and the sensitivity specificity or positive predictive value, negative predictive value are given, in which we can see that sinusitis had highest sensitivity and negative predictive value. And JNA had 100% sensitivity specificity PPV and NPV, and the lowest sensitivity is for fungal sinusitis as well as PPV. Discussion from the above study uh, is given here. The majority of the cases were in the age group of 20 to 40 years, and the least number of patients were in the age group of 70 to 80 years. There was a male predominance compared to females. The male to female ratio was 1.35 is to 1. The demographic distribution of the present study is compared with other studies done by Venkata Salam and Watt. Prabhakar et al., Kilkich, Medicine, Dewan et al., Ahmed et al., and Chakot et al. In our study, the most common presenting symptom was headache followed by nasal obstruction, similar to finding of POSWA at all. Most common anatomical variations seen was deviated nasal septum, which correlates well with the study done by Astroudin et al., Maru, Gupta, Ahmed et al., and Chakroth et al. DNS was more commonly on right side. Next common anatomic variant was again nasal cell in 48% of cases, followed by concavulosa in 10% of cases. In our study, the most common penis pathology was sinusitis. In our study, most common pattern in sinusal involvement most common sinus involved was maxillary sinus, which is followed by anterior ethmoid, posterior ethmoid, frontal and spinal sinuses. Present study correlates well with studies done by Ch uh, Chaitanya et al., Kuswa et al., where maxillary sinus was most commonly involved. Ostimator was 
the most commonly involved pattern in inflammatory sinusitis as reported in study done by Beaver et al. and Kosova et al. Among various sinusoidal pathologies diagnosed, diagnosed on CT, classified based on their imaging features, sinusoidal pathology was inflammatory 80%, followed by developmental 75%, benign neoplastic 2.5%, and similar findings were also found in studies done by Vijay Prabhu et al., Khan et al., Pika Stilon et al. The most common inflammatory pathology was sinusitis followed by polyps, which was also found in study done by Azam M. Salami et al. In our study, 11 patients were diagnosed as nasal polyp, which is similar to study found in Gupta et al. In our study, one case was diagnosed angiofibroma, which showed involvement of telegopolitine fossa and bony erosion. The diagnostic accuracy in our study is 100% and consisted in study done by Kostling et al. Three patients were diagnosed as fungal sinusitis by CT reporting. Among them, two were confirmed by histopathology making the sensitivity specificity of it similar to study as described by literature in generics is at all, which was a retrospective study. In the present study, a good correlation between CT finding and histopathology was noted in cases of chronic sinusitis, polyps, benign neoplasm, as evidenced by high sensitivity specificity values in cases of chronic sinusitis, 100% and 94%, polyp, 90.9% and 94%, benign neoplasm, 100% and 100% respectively. However, poor correlation was noted between in fungal sinusitis, which was supported by the low sensitivity of 66%. Similar results were noted when the positive and negative reactive values were calculated for all diagnoses. Limitation of our study has small number of cases as this study is relatively small. Further studies needed with larger study population to substantiate a clinical effect. For conclusion, first the study emphasizes the significant role of CT in diagnosis and characterization of various sinusoidal diseases. CT was able to characterize the penis diseases and their extensions. It is also useful in detecting bony involvement. It proves the better sensitivity specificity of CT in evaluation of various sinusoidal pathologies in symptomatic patients for the diagnosis staging and thereby better planning or management. However, a potential pitfall was its inability to accurately differentiate in cases of hunger sinusitis and higher density secretions. CT may be used as gold standard imaging modality for evaluating the PNS disease. And here are the references which was used during my study. And here are some imaging descriptions uh, along with findings. Uh, figure one describes coronal non-contrast computer tomography uh, image, paranasal sinus, so sinusitis involved bilateral maxillary sinus and anti ethmoidal sinus cells. There is also mild deviated nasal septum towards right. In here, here coronal non contrast computer tomography of panasal air sinus shows left middle terminate concavulosa. In these uh, two uh, images, coronal non contrast computer tomography image of panasal sinus shows deviated nasal septum towards the right with bony septal spar. Left sided deviated nasal septum with septal spar and compensatory right into a turbinate hypertrophy. Figure 4 shows coronal non uh, image of panasal air sinuses and a large right anterior polyp. And in this axial section of uh, contrast in has uh, CT scan shows uh, a large heterogeneity enhancing juvenile esophageal angiofibroma centered at left spinocolitine foramen with bony erosion and intrasinus extension and expansion into the surrounding area. And this picture shows a uh, CT scan of panasal sinus, which uh, includes allergic fungal sinusitis involving bilateral maxillary sinus with remodeling of left maxillary sinus medial wall. Thank you.